We have a significant large number of people that are spending more money than they should be. Housing Works puts together the yearly Austin City Council district by district analysis. The data is for city council members, staff and planners. It shows many data points like the number of subsidized units there are and how many are being planned. This now is like a Bible. It really tells people to look at this and try to determine whether or not there's a need in each city council district. Um, or where the need might be. District 1 added the highest number of affordable housing units in the past year. It definitely reaffirms what I've been pushing for. Our housing supply crisis really is fueling a, an overall affordability crisis. The report also shows how many are located along public transportation routes. Between 2020 and 2021, the median home price has gone up 26 percent, and the average monthly rent has gone up 27 percent. Meanwhile, median income has only grown by about half that rate. The report says 65 percent of people who became homeless last year lived in districts one through four. The last address mm -hmm. in this district. What the irony is about that is that, you know, when rent goes up, and home ownership goes up, the cost of all of that goes up, it's going up in those districts as well. So even though they also have the largest number of affordable housing units uh, in the city, they also have the most, the largest number of people that are experiencing homelessness. It's also showing us that um, Central and West Austin are really lagging in affordable housing production. We need more housing types um, for all income levels in all parts of the city.